Hey, tubers and toy train lovers, I put the old hoagie together. Uh, it's These all have floors, the, the locomotive and the two, the passenger car and the observation have floors on them, so they're solid, unlike Mark's, and... You gotta love this grill. <laughs> Looks like an old 40s Buick. 50s Buick. And I gotta say, Hampton Hoagie took some artistic license. I believe he uh, was trying to recreate something between a spaceship from Buck Rogers and the old serials. They would show between the cartoons and the movies um, that I would see as a kid and uh, UP 1005. And I would differentiate this from a one, M10,000 and M10,000 1005 because it's got the raised roof of the cockpit <laughs> or where the uh, locomotive engineer would sit. Now they, these came out with painted fronts that were not slotted, which I don't really particularly care for, and a couple of different positions of the lights. I like this one the best. I had a heck of a time putting this together. Um, someone listed it as HO under um, eBay. And I bet it's been 10 years since I purchased this or longer. And I. It said complete. It was not working. It definitely was not working. It was complete. But these um, frames were totally tweaked. And I did a lot of hammering, a lot of bending. I had one of these pieces here was broken. And I had to weld it back together. You'll see the whole train. There's not much to it. It's, I say what it lacks in uh, operation accessories, it gains in, in beauty. And you can imagine this. Uh, this is really scratched. You can imagine how beautiful this was when it was brand new and just chromed. This is real chrome, not paint. But just a one-way motor and a light, and that's all you got. And I have a oval a bank track. I'd forgot what it was called before. And the uh, upload I made about the motor, it's banked like a racetrack. And this thing really flies. You've got to watch it. And it's kind of interesting that you can see part of the one of the spring holders for the brushes through this window right here and you'll see the little hole up there that holds the end of the spring. There you will see the number 900 US mail 
Hoagie Streamline. We'll start up and wear it around a few times. And as I said before, this thing has the ability to slide because it's underslung. The um, plate that holds the motor is just attached to the bottom of the uh, locomotive frame with uh, two, two uh, washers and two cotter pins. So, it's made to go fast. And I hate to think of how many times. I didn't have any dents in it. There's no dents in this train. But I bet you it ran off the track a lot of times, probably on a carpet. really needs uh, a larger layout it's something better than wider uh, than 031 curves this is barely turned up on the transformer and of course my headlight goes out it is working fine. <laughs> I think because of its weight and the ability for the locomotive to slide back and forth around curves, it's almost as if it had magnet traction. It really holds to the track so that's kind of an interesting I love looking at the front of these that's an interesting place to stop I'll run it to the side you look at the whole train I know I've shown it before there's a lot my older films there's a lot more explanation about the company that made them and why they went out of business and oh what I should do if you do have these and you're trying to put them together they're not easy you set the locomotive on the track this has a piece that comes out and allows you to put this part in with a pin but you have to lift you have to lift this up oh I'd say about an inch to an inch and a half in order to slide this through the section of the motor that has a hole and through this hole which is part of the locomotive when I said motor I meant locomotive and this has two wheels 
at the back and you have to do the same thing with the observation car you have to lift this up off the track and try to fit this in it has a has a pin it has a two slots and you line those two slots up and drop this in with a pin and there's no problem I'm sure for a kid he had a lot of trouble putting it together and until he'd learn how to particularly when you're sitting up above and trying to put it down I'm putting it together at eye level and so it's really easy for me to to tell how it goes together give you a picture of the rear of the observation and we'll say goodbye to Mr. Hoagie look at all that reflection and once again this has been a big lizard production thanks for watching bye bye